um, good morning, everyone. Good morning, students. Good morning, teachers. Welcome to today's uh, assembly time. Today we have a guest with us. Um, he, well, he's a guest here, but he's also formerly um, from our school, from Asia Pacific. Uh, but I'll let him talk more about that and to introduce himself more. But this is Wei Cheng, everybody that you can see here. Um, today's main focus would be Wei Cheng, who will be sharing with us what he knows from his experience about studying in the US. Um, so year nines, I know it's it looks like it's a long way ahead for you to consider this, but this is a good time for you to start thinking about where you want to go in the future and what you want to do. And it's never too late to start thinking. And for year tens, it's closer than you think before you know it. Um, college applications will start coming into your life and this will be a big part of your decision-making process. So Wei Cheng is here to give us some inspiration and to spark some ideas in you before you make big decisions in your life. So Wei Cheng, I'd like to welcome you. Thank you for doing this and I'll pass it to you right now. All right, thank you, Mr. Dom. Okay, let me just share my experience and let me know if it works. Um... Wait, does this work? Does this work? Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes, okay. we can see it. So, all right, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this seminar talk, Study in the States. I am the speaker today. My name is Anderson Lam, or some of you guys might know me as Lam. I was the APSS alumni class of 2019. I graduated with an SPM certificate from Asia Pacific Smart School with an 8 A's. And I was a Yellow House captain 2019, and we got the chance to win the champion that year. So it's like, it's very good. The sports day, we won the champion for it. And I was a track and field team. And I was also the four science one and five science one class monitor 2018 and 2019. Currently, I'm a student studying in the US. I'm in the Foothill College and De Anza District student. I'm the ambassador of Foothill and De Anza International Recruitment Team. Means we all will we are going to recruit students or telling more information to international students that are interested in studying in our college. So I was also the I was also nominated as the Imaging Leader Award for last one year. I mean, this is my second year, which is known as SOMO4 in uh, undergrad. So I'm majoring in electrical engineering and computer science. Yes, it sounds very tough. That subject itself sounds very tough, but actually it is also very tough. It's not easy to study because Electrical engineering and computer science is like one of the world best well known um, courses, and it sound is really very hard already. And um, moreover, I'm outside of campus. I am a, a person that is very active in extracurricular activities, as you can see on the slides. I'm the founder of Compedia and Monofest organization. So for Compedia, what we do is that me and my partner we both go computer science modules to students who are interested in studying in computer science. This is in English because if I'm not mistaken for the SPM students, they have to learn computer science in Malay, which I did. That's why I didn't take it because it's in Malay. What's the point of taking um, computer science in Malay? So that's why we, we all decided to have a website for students who are interested in studying computer science and want to pursue this major in the future. And we have professors from our colleges, from universities, providing them their modules as well for you to learn C++, to learn Python, to learn C, to learn R programming language and also Java programming language. So if you guys are interested in that, just go to Google Compedia and you guys can find it. I think so. Maybe if not, you just can just message me in Instagram. Just, um, just tag Lam Wei Cheng 2002 and you, you, should, you, should, you should find it already. And World of Class Organization is an organization that me and my partner, we both found it. To serve the community, to serve the community around the world, we have students from South Korea, we have students from Japan, Indonesia, China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, European countries as well as, and of course, United States. So it's like a kind of organization that we aim to help more students, to help more people, to spread awareness and spread um, the the things that are happening around us. I'm also a president of Foothill International Student Connection. I'm the co-leader of Foothill Mass Club. Moreover, I'm a student leader of a Foothill International Student Fellowship. So I'm, I can say that I'm a person that is very active in extracurricular activities. Even though it's during COVID time, I entered Foothill College when I'm in last year March, last year March or last year April. It was the COVID time in the US. Suddenly, all the COVID, all the 
the campus closed down and we are I'm I'm already in there and I just what the hell why am I doing what am I doing here? I'm coming I came to the US for in-person class, but it turns out to be an online classes. I have to go to do I have to look at the, the laptop all the time, which is kind of sad, but it's okay. At, at least I got a friend, I got friends, I meet so many people, I look, I had uh, so many good contact, good professors as well. And then um, for the, for then, other than, other than that, I'm a professor teaching assistant for Calculus 3 class. Some of you guys might know what is Calculus 3. Calculus 3 is like a um, higher le mass level of, higher level for mass in differentiation and integration. So if you guys know that you guys want to pursue and majors like engineering, maths, physics, computer science, or some other major, you guys actually have to learn well for your differentiation and integration. Um, differentiation and integration is math and maths. So I'm actually a student from engineering major, right? So I will pers I will like encourage you guys to take MS if you guys know that you guys want to pursue something like that in the future. Because and maths is, is basics of everything, of all the maths, all the maths. So for example, for me, I take SPM, I take SPM and maths as well. I wanted to drop it because it was so hard and I don't like it at all. I, I hate it because I didn't get A. But then after that, the more that I do, the more questions that I do, the I have the, the help from my support from my teachers. And then after that, I started to like maths. And also because I already know that I want to pursue engineering major. That's why I decided to go to study, go into MS and learn about it. And I get an A plus for my SPM as well. So if you now, if you really know what do you want to do, make sure to do your, make sure to find out what do you want to do and what courses that are required to get into the major. Other than that, I'm a NAMSA communication officer of West Coast Council. So West Coast of Council is like, it includes the um, states in the West Coast of the US. For example, California, Nevada, Arizona, Seattle, and so many other codes and other states. So if you guys in the future will be coming into the US to study in the West Coast um, University, you guys, if you guys have any problem or face any emergency situation that you don't have anyone to help you, you have to contact me because I'm the one that controlling all the new cities in the West Coast. So basically I know everyone in the West Coast area. I have I know people from UCLA, UC Berkeley, Stanford. Caltech and so many other universities in the West Coast because I'm the um, communication officer because I need to communicate with every one of you and make sure that you guys are doing well studying in the US. Yep, and I'm also the, the mentor for Education USA. Um, we will provide support and help you to do your application process to get into a university in the US. So other than that, um, it, some of you guys might not know, but I was in the US for 10 months. I was in the US for 10 months and it was during the COVID time, but I'm still glad that I had a fantastic time at the US. I met so many great people. I went to so many great places. I just, it's just a, such a fantastic experience and time for me to, to expose myself to different environment. I'm now an 18 years old boy. I was, when I was in the US, I was a 17 years old boy. So I can't, um, can't drive. I can't do a lot of stuff. But because of my friends, I able to meet so many good people. They bring me around with their car. They drive me. They send me. They also um, follow me. Go to holiday together and teach me when I go. I need help. So it's just like a totally different experience that you will find in your high school. Yes, I know college life is different from high school, but yeah. Anyways, um, this this seminar talk is part of Volume Facts project. Our goal is to provide useful information for students who are interested in studying in the US after graduating from their high school. Doesn't matter if you are taking SPM or STPM or are you taking your AIGCSE, it doesn't matter at all. We will try our best to help you guys to provide more information for you guys to apply to universities in the US. We are hoping to help more and more Malaysian students to know about, to know about universities in the US. As I know that actually a lot of Malaysian doesn't don't consider to go to US to study because it's too far or it's just too expensive. But that's true. But it's, it's a totally different experience for you. 
and we, you if you are interested in studying in the US, you are allowed you are allowed to come to a live chat platform that we, we offer, we online class will offer, and you, you are able to ask questions and also connect with international students from Korea, from Japan, and from other countries as well. And of course Malaysia, yes. And then um let, let, is there anyone are you guys is there anyone that are interested in studying in the US or studying in like Caltech, Stanford, MIT, UC Berkeley, UCLA, Cornell, anyone? Anyone here? No one? I'm I'm I am i do not I don't see any raised up hand here. So I, I assume there's no student want to study in the US. Okay, never mind. <laughs> It's, it's, to, it's totally normal because getting into a top university in the US is never easy before. It's so hard, it's so competitive, but that's a way for you to do it. As long as you work well, as long as you work hard, study well, you should be able to get in. So moving on, this, okay, this is for SPM students. So for this is a unit, the typical university pathway for IGCIC students. Usually after you guys graduated from high school, you guys will spend one or two years in A-level and then after that, after A-level, you guys only apply to a new city to finish a bachelor degree and after that do a master degree. Because I believe some parents, they are worried about their kids still young to send them to abroad. That's why you guys, um, that's why your parents will send you to A-level. Um, personally, I don't like A-level. I always encourage people not to take A-level because it's not because it's useless. I mean, it's kind of useless, but because it doesn't actually contribute to your bachelor degree you need. So it's just that it just helps you to improve your understanding on some certain subjects. It helps you to understand, to learn in depth about what you are learning now, and it might be useful in your undergraduate life. But wasting one or two years uh, under like, a level of your lifetime is not that worth it. So therefore, I would actually recommend students to actually go to US to straight away pursue the bachelor degree, like what I did after I finished my high school, 17, 16 years old, I finished my, my SPM. I mean, I considered the month of birth. So after 16 years old, I applied to the US and I got in even before my SPM. So I already know I have a placement in the SPM already. I go to pursue my undergrad and now I'm a second year student already. And after this September, I'm a third year student. So I'm actually super fast compared to other Malaysian, other students, other Malaysian students, all my friends in APSS, all only, it's all only like one year, first year, or they are still in A-level. So I'm like a, like a leap uh, uh, above them. I'm so fast, which is good, because I, I personally want to fin finish my bachelor degree as fast as possible and able to work in the US, maybe in Google, in Apple, in Nvidia, and so many other co companies in the US. So um, there are, I, I know this, this slide is for SPM students, but because I don't know for most of the student, IGCSE students, how old are your age, how old, and then um, are you guys skipping levels or skipping your year and so on. But for normal SPM students, when we graduate from our high school, it's around 17, 18 years old. And you can see that mostly students, they will finish a bachelor degree when they're 24 years old, which is like kind of late already. I mean, not, not late, but it's, it's okay. But for the US pathway, you can actually finish your bachelor degree when you are 22 years old or 21 years old. For me, I'm graduate, I'm graduate, I'm, take, I'm getting my bachelor degree when I'm 20 years old. It's fast, yes, it's fast, but it's, 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 it's always a good new uh, an option for you to pursue your higher education to, do, to go to the US. And I, if I'm not mistaken, for the U UK or Australia, your bachelor degree is only, is only three years. But it really depends on what major. Like if your major is engineering, is computer science, is business, then you might spend more time in your college or university as well. Other than that, in the US, our education system is very different from all other countries' unit education system. We have a system that allows you to take classes apart from your from your major classes. So if you are majoring in engineering. Your classes, your major courses is always physics, maths, English, and some more computer science. But in the US, they want they want you to take more classes. For example, the GE classes, general education class. For example, for arts, dancing, media media studies, Spanish, theater, astrology, astronomy, and so many other classes for you to choose from. 
because this is like giving giving you the chance to explore so many different classes when you are studying for your major courses and maybe it, it, it attract your interest. For example, for my friend, she's Isabel Hong. She's also the founder of Wallen Flex on Compedia. She, when she entered the Fuji College, she thought that computer science is what she wanted to do. But because of US education system offer you to do other GE classes, other classes as well. Therefore, he took, she took some classes in arts, in cognitive science, in, in some other classes. And it turns out that she likes arts and cognitive science a lot. And therefore, she changed her major after she found out that she's, she's interested in this field. So who said that A-level, if you don't know what to do, if you don't know what you want to pursue, you can actually go to A-level. But I don't, I personally don't like that opinion because you can actually declare undecided in your bachelor degree, in your first year and bachelor degree. And after you explore so, explore so many classes, then you only, can, you only need to decide which major is suitable for you. Suitable for you. It's, that's, that's the time, time period for you to choose your major. But if that's a waste of time for you to, to decide and to explore around which, which major actually suits you better. Right? So there are two different ways to study in the US. One is go to community college and another one is going to American degree transfer program or, called, or known as ADTP or ADP. Is the, the, the difference between these two is that in community college, you have studied two years in the US already. And for the American degree transfer program, you studied two years in Malaysia. And after that, after you finish your two years, study of two years of your up lower division classes, you will transfer to another university in the US, for example, UCLA, Stanford, MIT, Caltech, and so many other universities in the US. The only difference is that, the other difference is that community college has a lot of agreements with the foreign institution, while Malaysia universities such as called Inti, Taylor, Sunway, they doesn't have a lot of options for you to choose. And usually the agreements are not the top universities. Usually are like maybe like, top 100, top 200. I know we, we, even me, we are Asians. We want to get into a good university. We want to get into top 50 in the world to like show off maybe, to show off, to prove that you are good enough to get into a good university in the US. So it's always better to study in a community college and transfer to another university instead of taking American degree transfer program in Malaysia and transfer for your foreign institution. I know you guys are from APIS. You guys um, tuition fee is already a lot per year. So you, I, I believe you guys have the uh, ability to study in the US for extra two years. So like two years in the US for community college and then two years in US also for the uh, for your four years institution. There's actually another pathway for you guys to do it, which is applying as a freshman, not, not transferring, but applying as a freshman to UCLA, to UC Berkeley. But I can say it's never is it's, it's very very hard to get into um, a good university as applying as a freshman because you are competing you are competing with so many international students around the world and you are competing with Americans. There are tons of Americans in the U.S. and there are so many many people applying at the same time with you freshmen together. And for UCLA for this year, they have one hundred eighty k of students applying as a freshman and they only allowed to take in like 40 students, 40k students. So it's it's very, very hard to apply as a freshman to get into UC, UC Berkeley or UCLA, because there are so many students at that, so many students applying at the same time. I have a friend from Singapore. She applied UCLA and she got 10 A plus in her IGCSE, but yet she can't get in because it's so hard. It also depends on luck. If if you are, if you do, if you have the luck, you might get in. If you don't have the luck, no, sorry, you are, you are like excluded from any from the university. It's just so competitive, and I don't recommend students to actually apply to UCLA, to UC Berkeley, or Stanford as a freshman, or any other university as a freshman. Maybe for for some um, not that high ranking university, yes, but for top ranking universities, never apply as a freshman. It's very very hard. So. Um, I'm just going to show you to like this ranking. Um, I, I, I love looking at the ranking as well. And 
always Malaysian always thinking that UK and Australia always has the best university in the world, but turns out it's not the truth. It's not the truth because for engineering and technology, US have the top has the top one, top two, MIT, Stanford, and also they also have UC Berkeley. They 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 are so good in engineering and technology that they offer a lot of opportunities for students to major in this kind of field. So and other than, other than other than that, we have accounting. Accounting, you also can see Howard, MIT, Stanford is a leading tree in the world. Then natural science, MIT, Stanford, use Caltech, UC Berkeley, social science management, Howard, Stanford, MIT. And you can see all, all the most all the majors, all the different fields. US has always has a leading university. It's had, the US universities has always top one or top two or top three or top five. It's because they are, their countries are providing them so much of money and there are so many students that want to study in the US. In my college, I, if I'm not mistaken, there are more than like a lot, like 50% of or 60% of international students are from China. And why China, why China, Chinese from mainland China decided to study in the US? It's because the ranking, all the, 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 all the good universities, all the top universities are in the US and not in the UK or Australia. And a lot of Chinese, they want to pursue something different. They want to do something bet that better for the community. So they decided to study in the US and spend more, spend money in there instead of going to UK or Australia. But yes, there are Chinese in UK and Australia as well, but it's not as much as um, in the US. If you, if you guys don't believe me, you guys can go to Google and search it. Chinese students, mostly Chinese students are go are heading to the US pathway because they like US. Although their English is not that good, but it's okay. Nowadays, their English is better now. Yeah, only English language and literature, Oxford, Cambridge, and Edinburgh, Edinburgh has the U is UK. Then other than that, it's all United States. All the top 10 universities in English and language are mostly from, from United States. And for life science and medicine, Malaysian perspective has a, always had this perspective that if you want to do a if you want to do ma major in medicine or you want to be a doctor, you must go to UK, which I think is not true because in the US we have Howard, we have Stanford, we have John Hopkins, we have MIT, UCSF. There are so many good universities in for in the US for medicines and life sciences. I always and I always think that why why Malaysian um always want to go to UK or Australia only. I think it's because we have always, we already have been in we under British syllabus for a long time. We, we under British for a long time already. That's why our mind are all influenced by the British, with the British people and the education system is also, also on British one. So that's why we all always think that United Kingdom is the best. Australia is the best. And also it's because it's nearer. That's why most students will go there. Instead, for me, I don't want to go to UK to study. I don't want to go to Australia to study because I want to be different. I don't want to stay. I don't want to go to a country that has already has a lot of Malaysian. But in the United States, there are not many Malaysians because um, it's expensive, one, one thing. Another one is very, um, it's, how to say, it's very far. Yeah, it's very far. You're gonna take six like maybe twenty hour or thirty hour flight to just go to the a state in the US. It's very far. So let me just introduce you the the map of Silicon Valley, the 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 map the place where a lot of tech companies in the world, top tech companies in the world, and in 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 Berkeley, there's a University of California Berkeley. They have the top business business and then electrical engineering and computer science major. Yeah, electrical engineering, computer science, which is also my major, has top, is top three in the world. So that's why I wanted to apply and transfer to UC Berkeley because they have the top three in the world. It's super good. And then in San Francisco, if you guys know Golden Gate Bridge, Golden Gate Bridge if you guys have been to the US, Golden Gate Bridge is located in this area. And below in San Francisco, there's Airbnb, Dropbox, in San Bruno, there's YouTube, Redwood City, Oracle, EA, Menlo Park, there's Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. But at Palo Alto, there's Stanford University. 
which is just actually near, quite near to my college. So I just need to sit like 10 minutes or 15 minutes bus to just go to go Stanford. And I would say Stanford is the best university that I, I have ever seen. Their environment is so big, their, their land is so big, and their, the people there is so smart that it feel, the atmosphere just feels so good for a student to go there and experience it. So if you have the chance, please visit Stanford and might be it attract your interest to get into Stanford as well. And in Palo Alto, there's also Tesla. Maybe some of you guys might know what's, what's Tesla, the Elon Musk, Tesla, yeah. And then Mountain View, our, my college in, where's my college located in? So Fujio College is located in Mountain View. And Mountain View is the headquarters of Google. If you guys have noticed in the emails, at the bottom of the email, the footer, that's actually say about the Google address and it's Mountain View. So I have been to the I have been to the Google headquarter and it's super huge. I, I believe they have a lot of money to invest in this kind of stuff and it's super huge, it's super nice. And if you guys have the chance, please visit there and just like look around and see so many programmers around there. Yeah. So Google Alphabet and Synthetic. And next to Mountain View, that's the Sunnyvale. The next to Sunnyvale is Cupertino. That's where the Anza College is located in. It's exactly next to Apple, Apple headquarters. So if you guys go to campus, go to the Anza, um, walking or by bus, you guys will actually pass by Apple headquarters, um, known as the Apple Park. So every time when there's a new product, launching of a new product, um, Apple will always do shoot a movie there and introduce stuff at there. So if you guys have a chance, you guys can actually go to Apple and look at the new stuff that the new product that they launch. And NASA is also located in here, NASA AIM Center. There are many NASA headquarters in the US. So one of them is in, in Silicon Valley. That's why Silicon Valley has been something very, very famous in the world. And if you tell some people, if you tell people that you are standing in the Silicon Valley, they will be like, wow, Silicon Valley, the all the, the housing is very expensive. The education is very expensive. It's because everyone there is so smart and they are all, all the top good companies, all the big companies are all there. So uh, moving on, I'm just going to introduce you Foothill College. It's, top, it's ranked top one online community, college, online community college in the world, in, not in the world, but in the US. And it's the be most beautiful community college ever built the safest community college campus in California and ranked top one medium-sized community college in California. So I personally like Fujia College a lot because it allows me to, to um, expose to different environment and also allow me to get so many good friends, to meet so many people. I, I, I am able to meet so many good people from Stanford, from MIT, from Caltech, and I even have a group with them. I'm, I'm in a group of students that are in UCLA, UC Berkeley, Stanford, MIT, Caltech, Georgia Tech, and so many other universities in the US. It's like you are going to a, a place in the university in the, in the US and you get the chance to meet so many different people. And who knows, maybe one day I am I, able to meet the Steve Jobs grandchildren and able to maybe something happening there, or some relationships happening there. So it's like it, it's uncertainties. You don't even know who you are, who you are meeting, but it's always a good good opportunities for you to expose yourself to different environment. So um, I will just show you guys uh, one video. Um, can, Mr. Dominic? Are you there? <laughs> Mr. Dominic? Hey, um, Mr. Dom? Okay, never mind. And that, let me know if you guys can can listen can listen to this can can hear to this voice, I mean the the music of this one. Yes, we can. Hear. Yes, we can hear. Oh, okay, Mr. Domini is back.
We can't hear anything. Are you on mute? Okay, can you listen now? No. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but I'm 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 just showing the the video. Can, can you can't listen to the video? Ah uh, no, we can't. Oh shoot, that's that might be a problem now. <laughs> Let me just try again. I don't again. know about others. I'm not so sure about others, but we can. Okay. Um. Let's try again. How about how about now? Been able to give me. Yes, I we can hear now. Give Thank to you. So many other people when I leave. to solve some interesting problems in the world, but I realized I didn't have the expertise or the skill sets to do so. Starting at the hardware level, we began to uncover what it takes for the things and images that appear on our screen, on our computers, on our laptops, from like a whole package. The value that I've attained at Foothill is priceless. my major and what I wanted to do in my life and I ended up meeting people here who are so wonderful. My um, professors, the counselors, the psychological services, the DRC and everyone helped me move towards what I wanted to do. And I've loved my experience at Foothill. It's been so incredible. I've met some incredible friends. Like Foothill really prepared me and I got a lot of tools in my toolbox. I got you too. Very excited. So yeah, um, I mean, Foothill College has been a very great college, even myself, even I also like to go to Foothill College. I like the environment there. The people there are so amazing. I like them so much. I'm able to meet so many good people there as well. So this is like, I know that you guys have like five minutes left and that's what Mr. Dom told me. Um, is there any questions that you guys want to ask me for studying in the States? Anyone have a question? Maybe just come shout out or ask your teacher to just message me or like speak it up. It's a good chance for you guys to ask someone, who, uh, some, a student that is studying in the US and has, has the experience about it. So feel free to message. If you guys want to speak up or anything, just 
contact me in Instagram. Just go to Instagram and find my name, Lam Wei Cheng at 2002, and it should be, and you can, you should, you should you're supposed to find it already. So is there any, if there's no any other questions, I might want to pour more information for you guys to, to learn, to know about US things. No question at all. Everyone want to go to UK? Everyone want to go to Australia? No one want to go to US? Yeah, it's, 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 totally, it's like a totally different, different environment. So yeah, so US is always not the top choice for international, for Malaysian students because it's so far away, it's so expensive, but it's like you are, it's a good investment for you guys. I'm, I'm seeing someone move, uh, move towards to a camera. Are you, are you, are you, are you going to ask question? No, okay. never mind. <laughs> so um, let me let's just share one last one already, and I believe you guys can actually go already. So in the US, um, you, if you guys uh, go to fresh, go to undergraduate studies, you guys have to spend fifty five k per year for Stanford. That's for Stanford. It's fifty five k per year for undergraduate studies. So it's like 200 k ringgit. And after, and if you consider four years of bachelor degree, you, you're going to spend around one, one million, you know, 200k USD, which is around one to one million. That's only for tuition fee. You haven't include your living fee. You haven't include your, your, your tuition, uh, your, the cost of, um, uh, what, uh, the apartment rental fee and so on. So it's, you, you're going to roughly spend around one to one million to 1.5 million U Malaysia ringgit to study four years of a bachelor degree. And you can actually buy a buy a house for that already, but it's like an investment, right? But for Foothill, we offer students to we offer like a short, cheaper one. So we have eight k eight k per year, but that's only like twelve units. Like for me, I take fifteen to sixteen units per per quarter, so like around ten k per year as well. So that's why it's not it's cheaper compared to other universities. So I um, let me just skip to the end. <laughs> oh, sh so um, so if thank you, I'm just I think it's this this is going to be end of our meeting. I'm just gonna thanks to you all for listening in and and the quote that I always like to tell to the others is never be afraid to dream to top universities. Even me, I I want to go into MIT and I'm pursuing it. I'm doing my best in my CG my classes. I'm doing my best in my courses and doing a lot of extracurricular activities. For example, for this seminar, I'm giving talk to so many students. I want to help more students to learn about USA, and I also want to help myself to get into good universities. Maybe I, I hopefully I can get into MIT or can get into Stanford because I love that. I love the college itself so much, and this is why don't be afraid to dream to top university. If you, as long as you work hard, you do well, and you know what you are doing, you can get into any university that you want. So I will, I would like to be, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for listening in from behalf of Volume Flex. So, um, if you have any questions, just contact me. Go to Lam Wei Cheng 2002, or you can just Google Volume Flex, and you can find me, find me there. Thank you so much, and I'm so honored to be here today. Thank you, Mr. Dominic, and thank you, APIS.